let's check out the HS01 Intelligent Electric Soldering Iron. This thing's priced at only 30 bucks for the portable USB iron. You get one little um, crappy conical tip. I recommend not using conical tips. You get a cute little bit rather dinky uh, stand and you get like a, I think it's a 65 watt uh, USB adapter as well as the sexy uh, metal um, silicone cable. Ooh, look at that. Supposed to be 65 watt uh, power, but that will depend on the uh, capability of your uh, USB, you know, like your battery bank or whatever, because you, you're not going to use this thing with the plug pack. The whole idea of these is portable irons is that you can um, use them out in the field, and it does come with a nice little uh, thing to protect the tip like that, screws on, and it's all alloy case, feels really good. Let's peel the sticker off there, it's just got USB input. Bob's your uncle. Got some rubber around the end there. Um, it's like, well, like it's got a flat bit there for your fingers, but eh, it's not that like there's nothing really to stop you sliding off the end. There's no like rim or anything. So eh, I don't know. It's not the best, but it <laughs> went like for 30 bucks. It's brilliant. Even if this thing sucks, you might still throw it in your uh, tool bag just for emergency use. And as for the tips, they look like a short version of the uh, Heiko T12 uh, tips. I don't have any of those, so I can't guarantee uh, if they're compatible or not. But look similar, but I think the ridge up here is longer. So, yeah, I don't know, maybe. But anyway, they slide in there. They do have a ring on the end and push it all the way in. Swivels around, but they do come out like pretty easily i'm not using much force to get that out so it's a bit how you're doing um not impressed with the tips but what do you want for the price anyway let's plug it in and i've got it going through the uh, adapter here and voltage low um so yeah it's not in power delivery mode at the moment i need to repower this somehow let's see if that works there you go it is we're in yes now we're 20 volts here and it's not going to be hot yet because we haven't actually uh, switched it on. So it just gives us that uh, graphic there. There is no other controls. It's just those two uh, like that. But we can actually, if we press that, boom, it heats up. It jumps around like a jackrabbit. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But uh, will it settle down? I, like, I don't know. <laughs> what's going on? Uh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Wow. Is it where? What the heck? It's got the bar graph that pulses like that. But there we go. There we go. It seems to. And I'm getting the fresh, mmm, fresh tip smoke. Yummy. We have a sponge water accident. Um, yeah, the manual. Um, anyway, here you go. A few sponge aficionados. I know you love it. I know you love it. Oh, look at that. And well, that's probably the dinkiest stand I've ever seen. Like, if you're taking it out in the field, you like you probably wouldn't even bother. Ah, oh, check it out. Look, I haven't even touched it, and it's already saying that the tip is disconnected. So I push it back in and restart. Let's see if we can just get it, just putting it down like that. Let's see if we can get the tip to sort of, like, come out or something. Just, you know. Yeah, yeah, got it. Got it. Look, just <laughs> dropping it down. Like that was enough to... I told you it was loosey-goosey. Yeah, that is that is terrible, Muriel. Wow. Anyway, just idling there. We are peaking up to like 40. I, it does seem to be getting to 40. I'm not going to go into intricate detail about uh, the power consumption. But anyway, it is a 60-watt uh, pack. All right, I've got it set to the default uh, 370 degree here. I don't have a nice uh, chisel tip with it, but I've got one of these uh, blade tips, so fairly chunky. Got some 09 millimeter uh, lead-free stuff, so let's have a go on some copper clad board, freshly uh, cleaned. Try and get it in the one shot here. Let's give it a go. Ah, uh, yeah, it's melting. No worries. Um, 18 watts. Yeah, that's all right. Test passed. Can do a copper nice copper clad board like that not a problem what is it i'm just having a look at the display there the bar graph there it doesn't seem to be pumping huge amount of power into that so that's not too shabby it's doing the business for a you know a power delivery just a random board uh see if it can do like a um a through hole fuse like this i know it's ridiculous but uh yeah let's give it a bell so to adjust the temperature you just hit the buttons like that. I don't know if it's got any more capability. Look, I'm going to turn it up 
to 400, okay? I'm going to give it a chance against this beast. Here we go. Oh, not liking its chances. <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect it to do this, but it's giving it a red hot go. Might actually get, it might, it might, oh. it's actually getting there, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's doing it. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is a pretty horrible test, but yeah, 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 it's, it's done it. The pin is wiggling. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> For 30 bucks? That's extremely usable. Unbelievable. Wow. I, you've got to have one of those in your kit. Just, just for that price, even if you use it once or twice, it's, it's worth the money. And if we compare that to my uh, TS-80P here, this is actually only a 30 watt iron, so it is actually lower uh, power. So, but you know, it, it still does the business and well, I don't know, this is a more expensive iron, but I still think this is a little bit sexier, but oh geez, I don't know. So if you compare these two irons, I mean, this is actually a lot more expensive. It's like 80 bucks or something. You might be able to get it cheaper these days. I don't know the uh, deal. But the fact that this is 30 bucks and it's higher power and it, I think it might be using the standard uh, Heiko tips, whereas the uh, TS-80P, it actually uses um, these 3.5 millimeter uh, tips like this and well they're not as standard i guess but the ts80 is smaller it's lighter it feels better in the hand to actually use it but not a huge difference like there's nothing wrong with this it's quite powerful and for the price and for those who want the fancy pantsy uh features you can actually hold down both buttons at the same time which is a nicer interface than the ts80 the ts80 you can uh, just like press buttons and do goofy stuff. Um, yeah, this one's nicer. Brightness, calibrate, temperature unit. So it's got your sleep time, so you can like auto power down and then you sleep uh, temperature as well. It's got a child lock and it's got language and uh, handheld. I don't know what that is. Aha, uh -huh, I had to RTFM there. Uh, turns out it's uh, that's the left right hand uh, thing. So yeah, and there you go. And you can actually set the uh, voltage uh, as well um, if you want to, but by default, uh, you know, there's probably no reason to do that. And you can upgrade the firmware. So there you go. And it wouldn't surprise me if uh, somebody's got some hacked uh, firmware for this because people like to hack their TS100s, all the TS100 fanboys out there, you know them. How do you spot a TS100 fanboy? <laughs> you don't have to, they'll tell you. And I do like these uh, flat spots, you can actually put it down and it doesn't roll. Well, it prevents it rolling a bit. Even with the cable plugged in, it's going to really stop rolling around the place. So that's a nice design touch. So it's a bit of a shame that this actually doesn't come with a nice uh, pouch like I got with the uh, miniware here. And I just uh, take that out and look, the pouch is even smaller than that entire iron. But I guess you could just take the tip out and you could I could put that in the same pouch. So I might actually do that. I might actually swap. Um, as much as I like the TS-80, uh, for 30 bucks, this is actually more powerful. It's more simplistic. And I've got a selection of uh, tips for it. So I think I'm going to replace the uh, TS-80. So even though this has problems with like the really dicky contact uh, tip and stuff like that, it, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, you keep pressure on it like that and it's okay. But for 30 bucks, that's got Winnow written all over it. I think I might actually uh, replace my TS-80 with this. Just whack it in there with uh, some extra tips. I've got my USB lead, I've got some solder, and there we go. That actually fits inside my little TS-80 pouch. Beauty. So apart from the dicky tip, I'm actually rather happy with that. For the, and for the price, it's an absolute no-brainer. You should have something like this in your kit. Some sort of portable USB iron. And USB-C, of course, is the bomb. And this one's higher power. So, you know, if you've got a suitable rated uh, power pack, which you usually carry around anyway for charging your shoe phone and whatnot, then, yeah, it's great stuff. Anyway, first he did send in a bunch of other uh, stuff like these USB current monitors. I'll show you that in another mailbag. But I hope you like this uh, quick mailbag that I thought I'd split out from uh, the main mailbag video that I did. I'm trying to do more frequent, smaller mailbags now. So if you like that idea, concept, and if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time. Yeah.